Hey everyone, today I have designed a new cap for our shampoo and um, there's really no reason that I did this and there's still a few changes I need to make but um, I'm about to send this to the printer for the first time and I'll show you how this works. Basically have two, two separate things, I've got a cap and a lid, I'm calling this base part the lid and then this is the cap and it can slide and let me do a little analysis here for you. So as this, as you slide this cap on, or I'm, or I'm sorry, the lid, I'm going to call this, for the first time, it has to make it over this little hump. And then that, these two little uh, pipes or whatever will catch each other and not allow it to slip off. And then as it moves, I am hoping that this inside tube here creates friction on this on the um, inside of the cap tube which will which will kind of let it hold itself in place and then as it comes down and seats at the bottom I am hoping the friction between these two points which I might have a little too much space here um, but the friction here and then the friction here you can see this is at a slight angle I'm hoping these will uh, not necessarily make it watertight because this won't be watertight, but tight enough for uh, shampoo. Um, and I do have plans for this. This will, I, I'm not showing everything in this video, um, but let me get rid of this analysis here. Let me get rid of the lid. I'm sorry, let me get rid of the cap. Here you can see we've got that little block. I have created these threads to match the uh, shampoo bottle and this will need to be printed with supports and I do have a bamboo P1S with uh, an AMS so I plan on printing this out of PLA and I'll do some PETG supports here so I get a nice looking layer here but that won't matter too much because I also, let's see if I can find it, I'm going to print a TPU washer just to kind of make it a little bit more watertight, or at least nothing will leak around the cap. Stuff still could leak when this is closed if this isn't tight enough. And I guess, you know, here's, if you're looking at it from here, I guess liquid could come up through here and around here and out. So, um, and of course it could leak through this as well. So. Anyways, um, I'm kind of rambling now. I thought maybe you guys would enjoy this. If you would like to see more or if you'd like me to design this from scratch so you can see how I did it, uh, maybe even including measuring the uh, shampoo bottle so you guys can see how I measure existing threads and try to create threads for 3D printing that, that match those. It's actually not that hard to do. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that and I will recreate this for you guys um, so you can see how I did it. I will make a really quick shorts video, you know, like a little 30 second shorts video. I will send this to the printer right now and you guys will be able to see me try to assemble it for the first time and I haven't printed this yet so uh, we will see how it works.